Hey all, so I got a new computer so I can now use my hover cam again. So what we are going to be talking about today is polynomials. So I've told you what polynomials are, but I want you to like see exactly what they, I mean by that in a definition. So if you like taking notes like this from class, you should definitely do that. If you don't, you're not required to or anything, but I just want it to be as normal as possible, seeing as we're not going back to school. So, a polynomial is an expression with more than one term. And what I mean by that is poly means multiple. So, if we think about a line, like 2x plus 7. This is a polynomial because it has one, two different terms. So it has to have multiple terms. It can have seven terms, it can have 20 terms, it just has to have more than one. So something like x squared, that is not a polynomial because it only has one term. So there's a couple new vocab words I want to tell you about polynomials that will help us with our activity for the week. The first one is the degree. Pretend, oh my god, I can't spell right now. Degree. So, what the degree is, the degree is the highest exponent when an expression is simplified. So, what we were doing this last week is we were practicing simplifying polynomials. We were adding them, subtracting them, multiplying them. So now we're going to see what can we do after we have the simplified polynomial. So for example, say that we had the polynomial x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 5x. Well, we want the highest degree. So I have a 5, a 2, and a I don't know. So what do we think this degree could be? It's 1, because it's that assumed 1, because mathematicians are lazy. So out of 5, 2, and 1, this 5 is the highest exponent. Therefore, it is a degree 5 polynomial. So let's look at another example. Let's say I have x squared minus 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed. Which one do you think is the degree? So some answers you might have had were 5 because that's the biggest number there is, or you could have said 2 because that's the first term. The correct answer is we need to look at only the exponents. So I have 2, 4, and 3. 4 is the biggest number, so 4 is my degree of my polynomial. That's why last week when I was talking about making it in a mathematically, grammatically correct order, that makes finding the degree easier. You don't have to search for it, because if you put it in that order from greatest to least with the exponents, then you'll be able to see for sure what your degree is. The next example is not a polynomial, but it's something I want you to be aware of, is say I asked you for the degree of the number eight. Well, there's nothing there, so how do we figure it out? What if I wrote this? What is anything to the zeroth power? It's one. So technically, x to the zero power is 1 and 8 times 1 is 8. Therefore, any lone number, whether it's a million, 8, 7, pi, whatever, the degree is always 0. So that's degree. The next thing we're going to talk about is our leading coefficient. Yes. So, a leading coefficient has to do with the degree. So leading means in front of, and coefficient means number. 
So what this is, it's the number in front of, see what they did there? The variable, so our x or whatever, with the highest degree. So we just practiced finding the degree. So now we're going to do something a step further. So say, for example, we had 7x cubed minus 3x squared. Well, what's the degree of this polynomial? It's degree 3 because it's the biggest. That means it's the number in front of the variable. Well, the number in front of our x is 7. So that means our leading coefficient is 7. Our last example before we do something with this new knowledge is say we had 9x minus 3 minus 2x cubed. What do you think the degree is? What do you think the leading coefficient is? So the degree of this polynomial, remember that's an implied 1, this would be a 0, this would be a 3. So it's degree 3. The number in front is a 2. But wait, there's also this minus sign, which we need to include. So the leading coefficient is a negative 2. So we are now going to do something with our degrees and our leading coefficients. I'm going to change my page so I can draw my thing very big. But what we're going to do with these is something called end behavior. And what end behavior is, is it's how the end of a polynomial graph behaves. So you don't have access to calculators right now, or you might. I know I don't know where mine is, but I know I have one, but I know you might not. So this is going to teach us how to figure out how this graph might look like without the ability to graph it. So say we had a polynomial, and say we had something like f of x equals x to the n. So this is just the general form, where this a is going to be our leading coefficient, And our n is going to be our degree. So with the leading coefficient and degree, we're going to look for some things. With our leading coefficient, we're going to look to see is it positive or is it negative. With our degree, we're going to look to see if the number is odd or if the number is even. And the last thing before I make my little thing that will help you, my little graphic organizer, is what the words up and down mean in this context. So the word up in this context means the graph continues to positive infinity. So it go, keeps going up to positive infinity. Down's the opposite. So the graph continues to negative infinity. So it goes down. So now I'm going to make a graphic organizer with all these new words that we learned that I highly suggest you do as well, even if you're not taking notes, because it's going to help you with the work that we're doing this week. So I'm going to make a giant box. Mm -hmm. I'm going to split it into fourths, then I'm going to make a little tab here, and then a little tab here. So I have this is my graphic organizer that's going to help me. And we're going to use the two things we learned about this week. We learned about degree and leading coefficient. So remember I just said with degree, we're looking to see if it's odd or if it's even. 
And with leading coefficient, we're looking to see if it's positive or if it's negative. So let's say that I have an odd function. So I'm going to graph this, even though you won't have the ability to, or maybe you might. So odd means, and positive means, say we would have x raised to the fifth power plus 2x uh, minus 1. Let's say that this is my thing. So I'm going to graph it, and it looks something like this. So I'm going to do a quick sketch. Looks something like that. That was for my f of x equals x to the fifth plus 2x minus 1. So, if I didn't have the ability to graph it, this is where this table comes in. So, this is odd and this is positive. Whenever you have an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient, the left, so if the left, is going to go down or negative infinity. And the right is going to go up or positive infinity. So this is true for anything where the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive. So let's say I had x to the ninth and I graphed that. Same thing. It goes down and it goes up. It just looks a little bit different in the middle. So without the ability to graph, I can figure this out just by knowing this part of the table. The next one is say you have odd and negative. The negative is going to flip it. So instead of it looking something like this, it's going to look something like this. So that means, let's say for example, if I had to have a negative leading coefficient, say I had negative 2x to the fifth. My degree is odd, my leading coefficient is negative, I just made it a polynomial by making more than one term. So what's happening on the left? It's going up, or positive infinity. And what about the right? Down, or negative infinity. So I like to think that O is opposites. So if one goes up, the other goes down. If one goes down, the other goes up. Even if odd is opposite, even's going to be the same. I'm doing like a weird polynomial dance right now with M behavior. So say that it's even. Say that I had F of X equals X squared plus 3X plus 2. Well, first... We've seen something like this before. What type of polynomial is this? It's a quadratic. So we know that this, because it's a quadratic or a parabola, and it's positive and even, it's going to look like a little smiley face. So that means our left, it's going up, so it's positive infinity, and our right, is also going up, so it's also positive infinity. So I want you to try to figure out if you can see what is the end behavior if it's negative and even. What is left? What is right? So let's check your work. So if it's negative and even, it's going to look something like this. So say, for example, we have like negative 2x squared to the fourth, actually, plus 5, whatever. It's even here because it's a 4. It's negative here because that negative 2. My left is negative infinity. My right is also negative infinity. When you're doing this work, you can write up and down just because you don't have access to the infinity button, or you can type in the word infinity as you say, like positive infinity or negative infinity. Um, so as always, let me know if you have any questions or anything, and I will hopefully see you in the live class.